Hi friends, it is about to be September as I'm filming this. It is back to school time in my heart and soul forever. So that means we need to play with school supplies. I wanna set up a new binder planner with you guys today because we love planner videos around here. So let's flip the camera and get into playing with this cute stuff. All right, so it's about to be September. To me, this is like fall, back to school school supply season <laughs> so i was really excited to see what new treasures i could find and i'm actually really excited about this binder it is not at all at all <laughs> aesthetically what i would hope and dream but the reason this binder caught my eye and i'm so excited about it is it is it, it's hard to even describe it has like a fabric spine so that you can open this binder all the way like a notebook and have it completely folded open. So this is my most comfortable way to write on anything. Like if you saw my journaling videos, I always do my journaling in a little spiral bound notebook so I can flip it all the way open and write on either side of the page and it's just totally comfortable. So I was really, really excited to see a binder that harnessed the power of a spiral notebook. Um, because, you know, that way you don't have to have this whole cumbersome front cover open all the time. I guess I should move my little plant friend <laughs> slightly out of the shot. But that way you don't have to deal with the whole real estate of the cover. You can just have it take up this more minimal footprint, like an actual spiral notebook. So I'm just really excited about this. I wish so badly that it came in a cute color option or anything more aesthetic than this. Like this is really not at all um, what I would consider cute. And the problem with that is I'm a huge advocate for getting something that's appealing to you so that when you see it, you just want to pick it up and that helps you be consistent with planning. So that's why I've always used the beautiful beloved pink binders that I get at Target. This is like the slightly dark, darker pink one and it's gorgeous but it's just a lot harder to write in because I have to deal with the whole real estate of the cover and I can't, I mean, maybe I could force it to bend in half, but I wouldn't want to damage, damage the precious binder. So, um, it's not as cute as this one. And this is like, this is a staple on my channel. If you're familiar with my planning videos. So it's not an end of an era, but I just wanted to try moving into this different style of binder and see how that works because I have a hunch it's going to be really awesome. So let's move into this. I'll take the um, cover thing off. I can link all the supplies I'm going to show that I'm using today, but this is by the Five Star brand and it's called the Flex Binder. So I'm going to do something to make the cover a little bit more aesthetically appealing. I really wish it came in pink, but alas, it does not. So this binder is a really interesting concept, the way it works. So the three rings don't have tabs to pop open. You just like unhook it and it just clicks into itself. Let me see if I can show you closer. It's just an actual manual hook that you can take off and pop back in and it connects really easily. So I'm curious how this will hold up over long-term wear. I don't know, I feel like if I was like, a kid in school, maybe it wouldn't hold up that well after a whole school year, <laughs> but I think it's going to be fine for my purposes. And it came with all of these dividers, which would normally be great, but yet again, they're just so not my aesthetic. They're like the see-through black, dark gray. They're nice, um, really nice dividers because they have a pocket and another little clear front pocket, but they're not going to be used in this purpose for me because I just want to dress this up as much as I can. So I'm taking those out. It also came with some graph paper in the back, which I will use just as note and scrap, scratch paper. And there's a sheet with a ruler and a protractor and other tools that I probably won't be needing. So I will take those out to use in another project. I'm just adding some plain lined note paper as well. So then for dividers, since I knew I didn't want to use these ones that it came with, I ordered a set on Amazon that I thought were really pretty. 
This was a huge pack of dividers that I got and it comes with some pink and gold. If you can see, it's really pretty like gold foil and some black and gold. And I thought that was cute. I thought it looked kind of mid-century, these lines on here. And I'm trying to bring together a color scheme that's like black, gold, and pink for this binder since it is already black and my favorite color is pink. So I'm going to try to unite that into a theme. But these are, these are pretty nice. They're just like thin, simple little divider sheets. But I find it kind of hard to find aesthetically pleasing binder dividers for adults. And I like that it came with so, so many. So that's interesting. The black ones are pink on the other side and the pink ones are black on the other side. I just mixed together a set of the pink ones and the black ones. So that's why the tabs are alternating colors now. But I thought that way I could use both styles in this planner. And I don't actually have that many divider sections that I need right now. But I go through different phases, like some phases of my life, I will have a divider going for every individual project and person and upcoming event and holiday and like really um, making a section devoted to everything I can in here. And then other times it's pretty simple and it's just my planner. So right now I'm kind of in a simple phase where I just want to get this pared down and like Kind of a clean mid-year reset on my planner um so i'm probably gonna keep it kind of simple for today but i just like to have the room to grow because i know me and like i'm gonna start diving into some huge research project and want to have a whole divider section for it and it just it has a way of filling itself out so for now we'll start with these dividers all right now i'm ready to fill all these sections in so the main thing I use my binder planner for on a daily constant basis is to track my daily routine and to plan my days, weeks, and months. So for my daily routine, I have a printable that um, has been in my shop before that's like a little daily routine tracker on one side and then a weekly routine or like weekly recurring to-do list type of tracker. So I'm going to be using that. I live by this thing but I just redid it. The one that I had in my shop before was like kind of cute little curly type of icons that I chose to put in there, like little swans and things like that. <laughs> so fun. But um, I've been using this version that I redesigned that has really fun little retro clip art throughout. I love like the 1950s and that whole aesthetic. So I thought it was kind of fun to put sort of, sort of in the vein of an old fashioned like beauty manual or some fun vintage book sort of icons. So that's how I redesigned it. And I, this is also in my shop if you want to get it. It's basically the same thing as the former version of the routine printable, but slight, slight tiny updates. So only, only necessary if you like the aesthetic of the retro vintage illustrations. But basically it's a two page printable. I just printed both pages on one sheet. And so on the left side is my weekly routine and on the right side is my daily routine. And this is honestly the tool that is like the most valuable for me. I use it all of the time. I truly don't know how other people function like to remember their routine and all the little steps of their routine that they want to be doing if they don't have a checklist. So this is just the way my brain works. I don't know if you're similar or not, but the way I do it is I print the two pages on one sheet. And then I would either laminate it or put it in a page protector. And I do have a laminator and I do love to laminate things, but I generally prefer to use this page protector for this because I change it literally every week. If you guys do get this printable from me, please change it. It comes as a Word document so that you can edit it. Like it's meant to be completely changed because Everybody's life is different. Everybody's schedule is different. Everybody's routine is different. Everybody's recurring to-do list is different. And my own routine and my own to-do list changes constantly. Like I tweak this every single week. Like on Sunday night, I'll just open up this document and change it for the week to come because my work schedule will change. I mean, the time of year changes, like what time the sun sets changes, what time 
I naturally want to wake up and go to sleep. It just all changes. So I tweak it every single week. Maybe not a huge change, but um, just kind of fine tuning it based on like the week before. Like I think, okay, did waking up at seven o'clock work for me? Do I need to be getting up earlier? Do I need to be going to bed earlier? Um, do I need to change my work hours? Do I have a lot of early meetings this week? Just anything I can do to kind of tweak it so that it flows more smoothly, always a huge help. And obviously this is kind of like a best case scenario. <laughs> I think tracking everything, hoping that um, I can, you know, get to bed as early as I try to get to bed. But even if I fall short a lot of days, it's still just something to aim for. And it helps me have a little checklist so I don't forget just simple things like feeding the dogs or um, you can just build anything you want into your daily routine. I'll show you when I get to planning out my goals for the month, but I like to take whatever goals I'm working on and build them into this routine so I don't have to think about it. As I'm filming this, it's a Tuesday and I'll go ahead and check off everything I did yesterday because this is the first time I'm using this sheet. But like yesterday, my recurring to-do list was like laundry, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the entryway, doing my nails. And I just love having these things built in, so I just check them off every Monday. Today is Tuesday, I cleaned the living room, cleaned the balcony, I have not charged my items yet. This is like my reminder to charge my headphones and my light up mirror on my vanity and like little things in my life that just need to be recharged. And I have not done my deep cleaning yet, but I did iron my clothes this morning. So anyway, I just check this off as I go through the week and then at the end of the week I erase it and start fresh. And then this side is, um, this has like a little bit of a habit tracker that I put on here. So these are things that I try to do every single day, except where I grade out Saturday and Sunday. Those are things I don't do on the weekend. But yesterday I did all these things, exercise, tidy up my house, keep up with my chores, go through the mail, email, clear off my desk and plan. I like to try to plan the next day before I go to bed, make sure I have like my to-do list kind of figured out so I have a way to like hit the ground running the next day. So that was everything for yesterday. How far have we gotten today? I haven't finished my chores. <laughs> I did the mail, the email, the desk, okay. So that portion is just like a super simple habit tracker that you can put whatever daily habits in that you wanna try to keep track of during the week. And then down here, this is my daily chores list that I try to check off every single day. I've done all of these so far today. Just little things that are really quick, but for me, they. They do so much for my mental health because I know my house is like always tidy and calm and comforting to be in. It's like I take a lot of peace from my physical environment. So really helps me to have this quick little checklist of things I can do around my house to keep it lovely and soothing to be in. So that's like my weekly kind of tracker and it has everything like my chores around the house, my little beauty routine, like which days I like to do extra care for my hair, my nails, my skin, things like that. And you can build anything into here. You could put recurring work tasks. The whole idea is to like automate your life so that you don't have to think about micromanaging every little detail and remembering possibly too late, like things that you meant to do that you're behind on, stuff like that. So that's the weekly tracker side of it. And then the daily routine side, super easy. I just go through my daily routine. I have like my little morning quiet time and stuff. I have my exercise breakfast, getting ready for the day. I divide my work day into like productivity blocks so that I can kind of piece little chunks of productivity into my day. Afternoon and we are, I just walked the dog, so we are this far through my day. <laughs> so as I go through the day, I'll just check off each of these little things. And it's not hardcore. I don't like live or die by this, but it just helps me to kind of check in and remind myself like, Oh yeah, I wanted to take my vitamins this morning. Oh yeah, I wanted to make sure I got some exercise before work. Just kind of building in a flow and a routine to my day. So that's why I love this. I just wanted to put it in my shop in case it helps anybody else as much as it helps me. But super simple. At the end of the day, I erase this side of it and this little part of it. And then at the end of the week, I erase this part and start fresh. But using this laminator pouch, this little sheet protector pouch helps so much so that I can just check it off and erase it. Um, like I said, you could laminate it. I would have put it in a much higher quality sheet protector if I realized I was going to be using this system as religiously for as long as I have been using it. But I put this little pin loop on it. This is just like an adhesive pin loop. So now I'm kind of married to this cheap, 
extremely cheap <laughs> sheet protector that's like all dented up, but that's okay. We're getting a lot of use out of it. So I can put a link to this. These little adhesive things are so handy. And then the pen that I'm using, is just a dry erase pen. It's actually from Daiso. I'll see if I can maybe find something similar to Link because I know not everybody has Daiso, but it's a little dry erase marker and it has an eraser built into the lid. It's also got a magnet, but I don't need that. But this makes it really simple to just erase at the end of the day, like quickly be ready for a fresh start the next day. So I just love this little system. I don't know. I don't know if I'm rare that I need something like this. Like my brain just functions a lot better with this, but highly useful for me. So I like to have this as the very first page in my binder and that way I can just leave my binder open to this page throughout the day and check it off. And especially now that I have this handy dandy foldable binder, this is like almost like, you know, a clipboard or something I can just leave out. So that's super helpful. So that'll be my first section. And then I wanted to attach another one of these adhesive pin loops onto this binder because it doesn't come with a pin loop or anything fancy like that. So I'm trying to th figure out how I want to space it. But these are super convenient because I like to have a variety of pin options handy because I use a dry erase or sometimes a wet erase marker on my sheets that are laminated that I check off over and over. And then I have to have my favorite pen, felt tip pen for actually writing on paper. So. With that, I can have both pins attached to this binder. And that's how it looks from the outside. Pretty inconspicuous, doesn't add like that much bulk to the binder, but super handy to have both. So there might, might have been smarter to put this loop on the binder back here and have two pin loops on the binder itself. Now I'm gonna go into these actual dividers and put planner pages. So the way I like to do my planner pages. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but I have a planner printable also in my shop. This is something I really love. It's I'll take you through it while I set it up for myself for this month, but it's divided into months, weeks, and days. So the way I like to do it, it's a little bit different, is have a section for each thing. So like this first tab will be my monthly tab, and I'll bring over my monthly pages from earlier in the year, but this this way I can just easily flip through, like go back to look at July or any other month and just flip through the months without getting bogged down by all the daily pages in between. So that'll be for monthly, same thing for weekly. Um, sometimes I'll do just the weekly pages all together in a section and sometimes I'll do the week followed by like the individual days, followed by the next week, followed by the individual days. So I think I'll do it that way for now. So this is one week's worth of pages. All right, I'm already loving this binder. It's so easy for something about just flipping it all the way open is so nice. Okay, so the way this planner is set up is that each month I choose a theme and a habit to focus on. And I just feel like it kind of directs my growth for that month and helps me focus toward being the person I wanna be, showing up as the person I wanna be. And it's just, I don't know, I feel like life is more fun with a theme. I love a theme, whether it's a theme for a party or anything else, a theme for life. Okay, so the month is September. So I think for my theme for September, I really wanna just focus on being present in the moment. And um, actually there's a quote I will share, for you, share with you on that, but I think I'm just gonna put presence. And I kind of cycle through the same sort of themes that are things that resonate with me at different times and I want to come back to. But I like to put choose a word for my theme and also like a little icon. So I drew a little balloon because the quote that I'm thinking of, I just recently reread this book, The Alchemist. And there's this great quote in here that says, um, he's talking about the importance of living in the present moment. And he says, life will be a party for you, a grand festival, because life is the moment we're living right now. So it's this concept that if you're present and alive to the present moment, then life is a party. And I just, I don't know, that really stuck out to me and I just absolutely loved that. So I thought I would start thinking of presence as a present, like a party with presence, like a birthday party, um, and kind of like the double meaning of being present in the moment and also the moment being a present and a gift 
too. So that's kind of my theme. I guess we could draw a little gift if we wanted as well. I like to do a little doodle and it just adds extra fun. So there we go, balloon and a little gift box. So I just wrote in the quote from the alchemist that I liked about living in the present moment. Um, and then I also choose a habit that sometimes ties into my theme or just something specific that I'm working on. The thing I wanna work on for September is really trying to honor and stick to that routine that I just showed you with my little daily checklist that I have. Um, it has plenty of flexibility built into it, like times that aren't structured. So I can just plan extra things that come up to fit into those time slots, but I really wanna try to honor like the protective time slots and the things around my house that I wanna keep up with and just following those little daily, the little daily rhythms and routines. So that's gonna be my habit that I work on each day. So I'll just write in here, follow daily routine. I know for some people, routine is almost like a bad word. <laughs> it doesn't sound like an appealing, exciting thing, but I can craft my daily routine to be something I enjoy. I really like trying to honor that and be grateful that, for that and enjoy it as much as I can. And then this calendar is just meant to fill in, to use however you want. So I'm gonna put the dates in here. September 1st is a Thursday. So those are the 30 days of September and I'll just put a little slash through the days that aren't part of this month so that I can visually see at a glance the actual days of September. And sometimes I'll use this page to write in appointments and places and things I need to do, but I use Google Calendar as my main calendar for tracking actual <laughs> things. I could never fit all of my life into a printed calendar. And I have my husband's calendar and stuff on there too. So I might transfer over important dates and things, or sometimes I'll just use this like a habit tracker or little details from my life. So I will wait and let September unfold to fill that in. Then the next page for my monthly spread is a page to plan the month at the beginning of the month and a page to reflect back on the month at the end of the month. So I will plan this page now and reflect on this at the end of the month. So for planning it, I can just copy over the same things from before September. I think I'm actually gonna call my theme present. <laughs> so it makes more sense with the little double entendre presence to follow my daily routine. And just to try to see it as something that helps me achieve my goals and enjoy my life and be in the present. This planning page has a habit tracker here at the top, which little circles for all of the days of the month. There's only 30 days in this month, so I will go ahead and cross off the 31st. And the way I like to use this is every day that I follow my daily routine, I can come back here and color in a circle. So it's very rewarding to me to get to do that and to see all the circles all filled out or as many as possible at the end of the month. And that's another reason that I really like to make my habit something that's very easy to track, like something I know for sure that I did. Like I did do my routine to me, what that means is like checking off my little list throughout the day. Obviously like things come up and I have to be flexible, but having that intention to follow the routine that I set out for myself and I can check it off. Then I have a section here for my goals and priorities this month. And a big goal that I'm working on is having less screen time on my phone. I feel like myself and pretty much everyone I know is constantly saying that there's just not enough hours in the day we need more time and then my phone alerts me and tells me how many hours I spent on my screen time and I realize that those are those missing hours. Like that's the time that I want back in my life. So I'm really working on being on my phone less, going and plugging it in in another room and just not having it with me in the evening, not having it in bed um, so I can be in my real life. And that ties back into my theme of presence because I just feel so much less distracted when I have my phone away. <laughs> so that's something I'm working on. And that's something I can build into my daily routine too. I can just put like a little 
line item in here, like 5 p.m. plug phone in office and leave it in the office. Another thing I always want to prioritize is my health. I think health is such a gift. So daily exercise. And I really enjoy cooking, making like fun meals for us and trying to make those wholesome and also fun. Another thing that's kind of always a top priority for me is budget, sticking to my spending goals. Always a fan of making this as easy as possible for myself. Um, in the past, I've done a cash budget, so very easy to stick to that because it's like when you're out, you can physically see how much cash you have left. Um, and I don't use cash as much nowadays, but I use a PayPal account like cash. So it's like whatever the balance is in PayPal, that's the only spending money I have. And then the last thing is home. Um, just keeping my house, like I was talking about, at a general level of loveliness <laughs> that makes me feel very at home and very cozy and comfortable and safe and really gives me a lot of peace of mind. So those are the priorities that I want to be working on. Then it takes me through planning what will self-care look like in this season. Um, so this just kind of helps me remember to think about taking care of myself too. We tend to have our to-do list kind of filled up with things we need to do for the outside world, for work, for other people, etc. So what will self-care look like? Um, one thing that I've been doing that has been absolutely amazing is getting a massage. Oh my gosh, that is the most biggest, loveliest treat in the entire world. Oh, I love it so much. So definitely get a massage. I can do my own hair, nails, skincare, makeup, dye my own hair, cut my own hair, <laughs> save all the money in the world, but I can never rub my own back. So for me, getting an actual massage will always be the most decadent, amazing, amazing treat. Uh, but what else? Okay. Also daily exercise. Making my daily beauty routine feel like a little treat. Just something as simple as something that you have to do every single day, like shower or take a bath and making that feel more decadent. Okay. One change I can make this month. And it's specifically just one change because this is not a place to go on a long diatribe about all the ways that we would love to beat ourselves up, but one thing I can change this month, not make plans during pre-scheduled time. So what I mean by that is trying to only book things in the correct time slots of my little daily routine so that I can focus on my morning routine and not have as many interruptions that kind of mess me up from following all of that. One thing I want to prove to myself. So this is an area where I can build self-trust and show up for myself in the way that I want to. And then when I look back at the month, I can feel really good about the fact that I followed through on that. The present moment is a party and I am always invited. So just a reminder to make it a priority to be present in the moment like we talked about. And then what am I most looking forward to? I really believe in the power of having something to look forward to. So this planner is kind of built around that. And I gotta say that massage appointment is oh, so good. So I will say that. Spa day. So this page is something I'll come back to at the end of the month when I'm reflecting on how the month went. All right, and then the next section is my weekly. This is kind of tricky because the first week of September starts on a Thursday, so I'll probably wait, finish up the page I had for August, which I need to move over to this planner, um, and then start this next week. So that'll be for next week. And again, there's like a calendar space for the actual days of the week, a page to plan my to-do list and goals for the week, and then a page to reflect on it. And then I have these little daily pages. So I will just go ahead and fill this out for tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be the last day of August. So actually my theme for August was growth and I was drawing a little potted plant. <laughs> I like to doodle. 
but if you get my planner printable, it comes with some little instruction sheets and it has a list of suggestions for themes. So I know it can seem kind of daunting at first to pick a theme, but now I just really enjoy doing that each month. And it was really fun in August. I was really focused on personal growth and that felt so rewarding. So glad that I did that. I was also working on exercise in August. That's a daily habit I come back to a lot because if I ever fall out of the habit, it just throws off my whole day. So glad to get that done. And, oh, I just checked that off as if it were for today. Whoops. I'll make a new check mark for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so let me make my to-do list for tomorrow. I have a section for the top, top priorities. These are like the things that must get done that day. And then I have a little bonus to-do list section that if I can get through everything, I would love that. All right, so that's the actual to-do list aspect of tomorrow. And then I also like to think about what I'm grateful for. So usually I will plan this like in the morning or the day before the day that I'm actually planning, but I will fill these sheets out once a day. So this is just kind of like a daily gratitude spot. And I am of the mindset you could never have too much gratitude in your life. I do try to do a gratitude journal before bed. I have this little gratitude throughout my planner and I just love any chance to build gratitude into my day. So I try to challenge myself to think of something kind of specific that isn't just sort of the obvious, like my home, my family, our health, our safety, which are all amazing things I'm so, so grateful for, but just to be more specific. So right now the sunshine is outside of my office window and it's so beautiful and all the trees and plants are blooming and I'm just so grateful for that makes it so much more enjoyable to sit at your desk and work when you have a view like that. I've had many cubicles with no windows. <laughs> so I always feel grateful that I can look outside. Okay, then I have a what am I looking forward to? And this is something specific within the day that I'm looking forward to. That kind of motivates me to try to have a little something every single day that I can look forward to. And I am looking forward to taco night tomorrow night. I'm gonna make some impossible meat tacos and we are gonna have a fun like game night at our house and then the next one is self-care just to build a little bit of self-care into the day every single day and a lot of times it's something simple that i'm already doing like my hygiene <laughs> you know so i think i'll just do a special bubble bath night which is honestly very common for me but i love it <laughs> And then down here is a reflection. So this is something I would fill out at the end of the day or the next day looking back, just to think about some highlights of the day, dwell on some of the better memories from the day and learn from anything I can learn from. So that's how this planner is structured. And I have extra pages in here for the week. I don't always do a page every single day. It kind of depends on what I have going on. And another option is that you can laminate this page and erase it and refill it at the end of the day. So I do try to like get the maximum use out of a sheet of paper and then recycle it. But there's something about actually writing out my planner that helps me so much. So that's why I always come back to this method. So then I have a couple extra sections here that I'm gonna leave blank for now because it's sorta of gonna depend on what projects I wanna put in here. I think I might start a holiday planning section it's never too early to start planning for the holidays, in my opinion. And I have a, a work section I need to fill out. I'm going to print out all the details for my assignment and like a timeline of when my deadlines are. So I will fill those two in later. And then the last section is just scratch paper. So that is how this binder is going to look. And I think it's looking a lot cuter now that I put some extra touches like I have my routine that I printed on pink printer paper. I love using pr pink printer paper for things. I have my little pink pen loops, and then I really think these are fun dividers that I got. So I'm pretty happy with that. I just wanted to do something to the cover to make the cover a little bit nicer. I don't know for sure. I think this is gonna work. I printed, this is the cover page for the planner that I was just showing you, and it's in this really pretty pale pink. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera because it's really light pink. But I printed it on this sticker paper. So it's like a printer paper sized sticker sheet. 
and I thought I could just stick it right onto the front of my binder. So let's see if that works. I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys have ever used this like printable sticker paper, but I find it to be very convenient. Let's see if I can do this without air bubbles. I think so. That worked out pretty well. Obviously you can print anything you want in here, but I just like a nice simple planner cover. So this is kind of fun for me. Ah, oh, it turned out cute. It looks a lot better to my eyes than just having it be solid black because dark colors don't, I don't know, they don't uplift me the same way that lighter colors do. That's why I like to gravitate towards a lot of pink. So I think that helped a lot just to lighten up the cover of this binder. And then honestly, I'm going to be utilizing the amazing foldability all the time. So I won't see the cover too much. I'll probably leave it open to this page so I can just check this off every day. And then I can easily flip to see my monthly goals here and my weekly and dailies here. One other thing I like to use in my binder planner is a bookmark. And they make these binder bookmarks that have like perforated holes so that you can easily rip them out and move them to the next day. So I usually use this so I can flip to my daily to do this page really easily. I wish it came in pink. <laughs> this one's orange, so that's going to probably bother me. But until I figure out a more on color theme binder bookmark, that's going to be my bookmark for now. So I can flip to that day easily and mostly keep it open to just the daily routine. So that is it. We are moved into this binder and I'm really loving it. There we go. Thank you so much for taking the time to settle into my new planner baby with me. I will keep you guys posted on how the flexible binder system works out. I think it might be super, super convenient and I'll report back. So hit subscribe if you want to be around for more planner videos to come, more cozy nesting, fun fall vibes to come. I just, I feel like very in the spirit right now. So stick around if you'd like to join us and thank you so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing, beautiful, wonderful day, week, month, rest of your year. And I hope you're taking care of yourself because I know it's so, so hard. So maybe use that planner of yours to try to schedule in a little bit of self-care because you deserve it and it's so hard to prioritize, but you've got to do it. You got to take care of you for my sake. So thank you so much, guys. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.